Now, the night before Christmas, I was sitting in my house, and there wasn't nothing moving around, not even a mouse. The socks were hung up by the fireplace to dry in hopes that old Santa Claus would bring me some pie. My children are grown, so nobody's in bed, and I got the sound of duck calls stuck in my head. Mama's in her gown, and I got on my cap, and I ain't tired because I took a three-hour nap. When all of a sudden, I heard a big crash. I figured it was some coon digging in the trash. I went to the window and slipped on my shoes because I don't like critters snooping around in my refuge. Now, the moon was bright, and there was no sight of snow. And hey, I have the eyes of an eagle, just so you know. When all of a sudden, what seemed to appear was a tiny little tree stand and a whole lot of deer. Hmm. I knew I'd seen him. He was acting very silly, and I was convinced it could only be Willie. Now, he was yelling and screaming, calling out names, and those deer started moving, and all those suckers came. Now, I thought he said, Hey, Dasher, hey, Prancer and Spitzer. Maybe comment something about Cupid, Donner, and Wolf Blitzer. Let's head to the roof. From there they would spring. These deers had magical powers, and All of them had wings. Now, I took off my glasses because this was too weird. Big bucks turned into ducks is what seemed to appear. Hey, they circled around, and I swear that they flew. These deer had bags of my garbage and Big Willie in there, too. And then in a flash, they was tearing up my roof. I heard the stomping and chomping of each little hoof. As I drew out my pistol, not knowing what to say, Down the fireplace came Willie. He must have got away. He had on a mink coat from his bandana to his foot, and his clothes were all nasty, covered in ashes and soot. He had my bag of garbage flung over his back, and he looked like a fat raccoon looking for a snack. As I stood there wondering why he was not in bed, I yelled, Hey, I don't have any cookies, you crazy knucklehead. His mouth was wide open as he stood there in shock. Then I realized I was in my tidy whiteies with only a top. <laughs> All right, quit laughing, boy. Okay, Willie looked like he was smoking a pipe. I know I never seen that, and it didn't seem right. Not sure it was Willie's face, but no doubt it was his belly. With an unmistakable shake, because, hey, Willie loves his jelly. Willie's chubby and plump like a fat little mouse, and I got tickled at seeing him and said, Why are you at my house? He winked at me and smiled as he set down his stash. I saw it was not my garbage, and it certainly was not my trash. Hey, this cat didn't say a word as he pulled out some toys, and not just cheap crap. This stuff was for big boys. He was doing a job, and he was going to work. This could not be Willie, because Willie, he's a jerk. He left me some goodies, then he sprang in the air. I wasn't sure what I just saw, but hey, I didn't care. And I heard him yell out as he left with his pack. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Jack 